Welcome back to the show. Our Arkansas basketball insider Kevin McPherson is joining us over the phone right now to talk some hog hoops. And Kevin, let's start things out talking about the possibility that the coaches could finally start to be involved with the players, possibly on Monday. Yeah, the NCAA back in mid-June set a date, a guidance date of July 20th, which is Monday, uh, for basketball programs to be able to step up their activities. It's been voluntary strength and conditioning since early June, but Monday, uh, according to the NCAA, and I haven't seen anything change on this, uh, the coaches can now be involved. That hasn't been the case so far, and there can be skill instruction and more basketball-related activities added into the strength and conditioning, and they call these required uh, athletics activities. So it, it, it kind of a lot of this would move, would phase from voluntary to some of the required work. So we really haven't seen in any official capacity Arkansas's coaches and players interacting in basketball-related stuff really until you go back to the end of the season, the SEC tournament, when the coronavirus pandemic really shut everything down in most all sports. So if Arkansas and the SEC resumes on Monday, I know the Big Ten coaches voted late last week to go ahead and move forward with the NCAA guidance. We'll see what the SEC and Arkansas do, but let's assume that it's tomorrow. Uh, you know, Arkansas's got basically 10 newcomers uh, and their 13 scholarships are filled, but that's a little bit misleading. And I'll tell you why, because not only if you get Isaiah Joe back, obviously that's, that would be big for Arkansas. He's got till August 3rd to make that decision whether to stay in the draft or come back. But if he comes back along with Desi Seals and Ethan Henderson, you've got three players with SEC experience as Hogs. You've got three players with one year under Musman who sat out after transferring. Little Rock native Connor Vanover, J.D. Note, and Bebe Iliola. And then you've got three more grad transfers that are seniors uh, in Vance Jackson Jr., Jalen Tate, uh, and Justin Smith. So really you've got nine players that have a lot of Division One college experience. So that 10 newcomer thing is a little bit misleading. And then you look at that freshman class, ranked top five nationally by ESPN, Moses Moody, K.K. Robinson, uh, Devontae Davis, and Jalen Williams. I think when you look at this roster as a whole, when you look at a guy that's a 7'3", stretch five like Vanover, he'll be the tallest player to ever play for the Razorbacks, but also very versatile because of his face-up and perimeter skill. So I look at this lineup. Not only is it big, but I think it's very versatile when you talk about front court and back court skill basketball IQ and again when you go back to the size you know it's going to give Arkansas a lot of matchup advantages uh, playing inside and out I think again we're not sure when basketball and sports on the college level are all going to come back full go but if, if basketball begins to peak you know kind of peep through the surface tomorrow as the NCAA says that it can I think Arkansas's got the makings at least on paper and probably in, in actual results as we move forward for a team that deserves to be ranked in the top 25 and maybe compete in you know for an SEC championship and maybe a run in the NCAA tournament that gets to a second weekend for the first time at Arkansas it would be in 25 years. All right, Kevin, thank you so much for your time. As always, that's going to do it for our Hog Hoops report. We'll have more on the pig trail after the break.